I've been asked how to find the smallest altitude of a triangle if you're given the three sides of that triangle. I have an example triangle here with side lengths of 35, 54, and 61. And the way you're going to find the altitude is to use the area of that triangle. Now I have another video where I've done the area of this exact triangle. We used Heron's formula, which itself uses the semi-perimeter of the triangle, and we found that the total area is 55.09 millimeters squared. I'm just going to write that here for ourselves so we can see it. Okay, now altitudes are the heights of the triangle. And what I mean by that is, if you start at one corner, you have to draw a line that meets either side at 90 degrees. You know, sorry, the opposite side at 90 degrees. The area of a triangle is the base of the triangle times whatever height that is divided by two. And there are three altitudes for each triangle. I've done one in orange there. I'll do one in green. I have to start at another corner and draw a line until it meets the other side at 90 degrees. And I'll do another one in, uh, what other what colors do I have here? Red. Start at one corner. Yeah, look, there it is. And it meets the other one at 90 degrees. So which of those three lines is the shortest or smallest? Well, let me point out that the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two, where the height is the altitude that meets the base at 90 degrees. Now, the area we've already calculated to be 55.09 millimeters squared in this case. And we want to find the smallest altitude. We're trying to find h that is as small as can be. In order to make h as small as can be, we need the base to be as large as it can be to compensate. So, of the three sides you were given, your job is to plug in the longest of those sides. And the largest base here should give us the smallest corresponding height. This is the equation you'll have to solve in order to find the smallest altitude. How do you undo dividing by 2? Well, the answer is you times the other side by 2. And how do you undo multiplying by 61? The answer is you divide both sides by 61. Now that 61 actually had units of millimeters, which is what helps the units here cancel. Millimeters squared divided by millimeters will give us units of millimeters for the height that we're solving for. Now we've just got to do 55.09 times 2 and divided by 61. That gives me 1.81. So apparently the smallest altitude here is a measly 1.81 millimeters. Cool. All it took was knowing the area, which I do admit was not in this video, and then using the fact that area is base times height divided by 2, and to minimize h, you maximize b. So you select the longest of the three sides to get the smallest altitude. Very nice. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.